Hey everybody, what's good? It's your boy BQ with the Impact Lounge. So I've been really critical, really critical about the Impact Plus specials and the Twitch shows. I even went as far to do a couple podcasts covering 20, 20 total ways that I would fix the Impact Plus and Twitch shows. Now, if you didn't catch Bash at the Brewery last night, this show... I was more entertained watching this than I have been entertained watching an episode of Impact in months. As far as a non-pay-per-view, and I know we kind of look at these as pay-per-views, as monthly specials, whatever, this was the best non-pay-per-view they've put on in a really long time, in my opinion. You're talking about an engaged audience. You could hear them. You could see them. The matches were good. I mean, even Congo Kong versus Fala Ba, like that match was excellent, and it seemed like they just tapped into, you know, some of that. What I always said, the magic of the indies is that when you go to an indie show, you just know every match is going to be competitive and everyone's going to give their 100%. And there's something about television wrestling where they're kind of like, okay, we're going to put this guy in the ring, but we don't know what the response is going to be. So we're going to try to make this a quick three or four minute match or, or whatever. But they let, Congo Kong do shit, or I shouldn't say they let him, but Congo Kong did shit that he never did when he was a part of the Impact Wrestling roster, and they would have never had Congo Kong versus Fala Ba on, on an Impact show, but I'm talking about the first match, and I didn't watch the last two, let me put that caveat out there, I have to catch up on them today, these matches were amazing, and Joey Ryan versus Michael Elgin, to say that exceeded expectations is an understatement. Um, it really showed that Joey Ryan can wrestle, that he can go. And what really disappointed me with Impact's social media is that instead of just showing, you know, some of the good clips from that show, they showed, you know, the attempted dick flip. Now, some people are going to say, well, that's what that's what gets clicks. But but cheap clicks do you no good. You know what I mean? Um, maybe maybe there's that audience who likes seeing that kind of stuff, but cheap clicks do you no good. It's it's proven that on social media, the real numbers and the most effective numbers are in the things that, that shock people or they are out of the norm. So I would have felt like if you would have posted some of the clips from Joey Ryan and Michael Elgin, some of the actual spots that they were doing, some of the technical wrestling, I mean, that's that's what grabs people. Oh, shit, well, maybe I need to check out these shows. I've seen Impact fans who have on Twitter, on Facebook, who have completely checked out of these shows saying, okay, maybe I need to check out Bash of the Brewery because it got people talking. They changed the commentary up, which I was always cool with Scott Demore, but D'Lo Brown, like, we, if you agree with me, we need to be tweeting Impact Wrestling nonstop about him remaining on color commentary. Like, he sounds good. He's got the voice. He's clear. He's knowledgeable. He's not trying to be funny. He's not, like, flip-flopping between shit. Um, I have to watch Madison Rain on mute. The commentary is so bad during her matches. And I hate that. I really do. This commentary was killing it. The show, the quality... And I even thought the venue, as weird as it kind of was in the, in the brewery, like, it had it had a charm to it, you know? Same with the, the um, I think it was a Twitch show, the one that was in Michigan last month, you know what I mean? I think that was a bar or something like that, but it, ha it had a, it, it just had a charm to it that, that kind of worked. So, the production was good for this, the audio was good, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised... If this is better than Hard to Kill, no shit. Uh, you might say, okay, well, slow down. Slow down there, big guy. But this show was so good. I really want to know your thoughts in the comments about whether it's the commentary, the audio, the video, uh, the matches itself. Joey Ryan, you know, getting an opportunity to do something in, on Impact Television that he hasn't done on the actual episodes of Impact. Because he's always, it's always kind of comedy matches or, or whatever. And there was some comedy to this, but it really, really worked. Uh, the gal, I think Christy James, that took on um, Kira Hogan, she looks really, really promising. So, you know, when we see these shows and they're bringing these people on, it'd be great to see them actually sign, you know, some of the talents. Yes, they've signed a couple so far, but the knockouts division is one that really needs help. And I think it's really, really clear after this that we're going to get an Eddie versus RVD program with Katie and Alicia. When I was watching this match... 
and Katie kept kind of getting involved, I was like, man, because we haven't seen Alicia in a little while, I was like, it would be perfect for her to come out, you know? It's, it's almost like a fantasy booked it in my head, and it happened. And uh, I actually think Eddie and RVD are both going to win at the pay-per-view. So I know Eddie has taken a couple losses. He took that one to RVD and then one to Elgin on television. But I think he's going to beat Elgin at the pay-per-view. I, I truly think so. So uh, Bash at the Brewery, too. Killed it. I don't know if I'm going to watch a Twitch show tonight because I don't have a whole lot of interest in those indie ones that they do. But I may catch some of it to see if you know they step up the production for that as well. But props to Impact Wrestling. I have to give the props because I have ad nauseum c criticized and complained about their monthly specials and um, everything to do with them. And they really, really killed it on this. So uh, leave your thoughts in the comments. Hard to Kill is coming tomorrow. Uh, make sure in the pinned comment of this video you can check out my predictions for Hard to Kill. I'm rating every match prior, and then I'll rate every match after and see how close it was. So thanks for checking me out. It's your boy BQ. This is the Impact Lounge, and I'm out. Peace.